General, my name is Hank Riley. I'm with Politics Monthly. Uh, Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's uh, definitely an honor, and uh, we're glad that you uh, we're, we're a part of this as well. Uh, kind of curious, what is iDebate, and how are you involved? We got started uh, several years ago uh, thinking about what we were going to do with, with our adult lives after, after we left the military. And so we decided that one of the things that we ought to do, um, and, and maybe it's part of uh, giving back. I don't know if I don't know if this is a selfish thing or, or if it's uh, uh, really designed uh, to try to, to help mankind. But I think that uh, if we're not about preparing our youth for tomorrow, as they're going to be the, uh, uh, the leaders of our country, then what what are we all about? And so one of the one of the parts of that particular program is uh, uh, is I debate. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring kids in, uh, high school age kids from all over the United States. Uh, and we wanted to, uh, kids who have some debate experience in, in, their, in, in their various school systems, uh, and who have a passion for studying issues and who have a passion to learn about that sort of thing. We wanted to bring them together and uh, have them debate the issues that the presidential candidates are surely going to debate here over the next few months. And, uh, and so we called it iDebate. And Oklahoma Christian University here in Oklahoma City said, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll be sponsors of that uh, effort. And this actually is a spectacular um, uh, school. And they have wonderful facilities a great place to put up young people, uh, a, a wonderful set of counselors and so forth. So um, so then then the two of us, Oklahoma Christian and, and, uh, and, and our uh, Leadership Institute, were joined by the National Center for Policy Analysis. And for about 25 years, they have been taking a bipartisan look at the toughest issues uh, in, in, in the country. So they became partners as well, and we did an outreach to about 20,000 young people across the country and said, uh, this is not that big a deal. We're just going to pick um, the most talented 48 uh, of you and, uh, and, and scholarship you to come to Oklahoma Christian. And uh, we're going to uh, have some of the best debaters in, in the country talk about how to debate. Uh, we're going to have judges from uh, NYU, from uh, Michigan State, um, from, uh, uh, from uh, USC. Uh, we're going to have uh, a couple of political judges. We'll have uh, Jack Kemp and uh, Bill Richardson, the governor of, uh, uh, of New Mexico, as celebrity judges for the big finals of this debate that will occur on Thursday. And the purpose is not to decide uh, what's right and what's wrong uh, on, on each side of any one of these issues. <clears throat> For example, uh, flat tax, good idea, yes or no. Uh, For example, uh, reforming Social Security, good idea, yes, uh, yes or no. Uh, universal health care, good idea, yes or no. Well, certainly our, uh, uh, our political contenders for the office of the presidency of the United States uh, are going to talk about these issues. Um, what I think we can learn from these young high school age uh, uh, kids as they debate these issues is how to disagree without being disrespectful. And so I think uh, they'll learn something from us, and I think we'll probably learn something from them. So that's a long answer to your short question, but that's what uh, that's what I debate is all about, and uh, we're going to try to do this uh, every year, and we're going to try to look at the tough issues that the country looks at, and have a quality experience for young people from all over the United States. Excellent. Well, it does sound like fun and, and quite intriguing to say the least, with some of the topics that you are discussing and right. such hot topics that they are. Right. Um, now, as a child, did you have anything like this? Absolutely. Uh, no, I told the young people when we were. Uh, uh, when I was uh, just welcoming them uh, to, to Oklahoma, that uh, the difference between uh, me 45 years ago and them as they were sitting in, in, in that auditorium is that uh, I wouldn't have been there. No, I, I, I wouldn't have been there because when I was about 15 or 16 years old, uh, I knew everything. And I worked hard to persuade my parents 
that, that I that I knew everything, and so I never participated in, in any sort of organized uh, uh, debate. But um, I've studied it and I've watched it uh, my, my whole adult life. And without without getting into a whole lot of philosophy, I, I'll share this much with you. I believe that uh, it isn't only politicians in our country that need uh, that need a lesson from these young people. I believe that uh, all these uh, all these kids who are in school today, when they grow up, are going to generally fall in two categories. They're either going to have a boss, or they're going to be a boss. Uh, and uh, as uh, as as they work to get along in the workplace, if they have a boss, they will find it necessary to be able to disagree without being disrespectful. Otherwise, they become a, a, they become a percentage on, on the unemployed roles. Similarly, if they happen to be a boss and they have people working uh, for them in the pursuit of um, uh, earnings for 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 a corporation, then uh, they will find that the ability to disagree without being disrespectful will serve them in that they'll be able to keep their workforce motivated. To go out and earn uh, and earn money for for the corporation. So, I believe that this uh, that this whole thing is a life skill that serves uh, that serves us all well. So that's what that's what we're after. That's what we're going to do. Excellent. It does seem like like a great thing. And you know, life is just a constant learning experience. You bet. And uh, we want to thank you for taking some time with us here at you Politics bet. Monthly. And uh, we look forward to covering this entire week with you. And and really admire what you're doing here, General. Thanks Franks. very much. It's thank great to much. have you here. We appreciate.